score early in the shot clock. White kicks it outside. Shelly with the open look from the corner. Knocks down the three-pointer, Shelly. Yeah, once again, just way too much space. Three people sag in on Darian. It is an all-freshman backcourt with Herter and Thompson for the Knights. Inside to Markowski. Good catch and shoot, kept the ball high. My pedicord now in the game for Rutgers. Out of that last timeout, we saw her in shoot around and in warm up before the game. She really was struggling with the injury. She missed the Michigan State game. Nice drive there. Brown, the three pointer. Knocked down. She had an open one. Nebraska by one. Two for three from three point range for Rutgers, and Nebraska answers. Brown with it down low. Good move by Brown and the hoop. And an opportunity for a three-point play for Cassandra Brown. Brown. Off the bench, she's got 13, five already above her per game average. See what kind of energy and effort they need to bring every day. Rutgers picked up full court out of the timeout. Nebraska breaks it, good dish down low, and it drops for Jessica Petrie. Right into the hands of the defense. Herter with an iffy move, and lays it in. Nice take by Jillian Herter, the freshman. Whatever the Huskers need from Jazz Shelley, she can do it. Bates, good pass, down low, bucket, and the foul for China Cornwell. Again, the double team on the on-ball screen. Potts is late. Three on the way from Nisley. Rebound for Rutgers. Scarlet Knights have that tipped away by Potts. Scooped up by Hake. She'll take left hand off glass. Making the play for her team, whether it be score or pass. A good take there by Pettigord, who's back in. She draws the foul. Moriarty, bounce pass to Markowski. Three on the way from Petrie. Got it, top of the key, Jessica Petrie. Nodded at 38 with the hometown Huskers. A big two minutes for Rutgers to finish the half. Here's Herter with it. She'll drive into the paint, a little floater for Herter and draws the foul. Big shot for the freshman, Jillian Herter. The 0-10, Scarlet Knights on the road in Lincoln. In a hurry. Physical and strong. Shelley with the take, nice block from behind. Bates is a Adam step Ooh. through. Nice in clock time in the last three and a half minutes. Make it four minutes. And if you're a Rutgers team that hasn't had a win in Big Ten play, momentum matters. Great move by Darian White. Big take there for White. They are top five in the nation in points, field goal percentage, and three-point percentage. McKenna Marisa nails her first three. There's a little bit of the pressure from Penn State that they'll set up after makes. Lauren Hansen, the Missouri transfer, ties it up. It's come out hot in the second half, doing an excellent... They force 20 turnovers a game. It is a vicious defense at times. Hansen got her second three. The confidence, the shoulder square to the basket, the feet set. Lauren Hansen has got that New York toughness to her. You can't go under the screen on Hansen. She's shooting nearly... 12 points a game this year for Hanson, her first year with Michigan, previously at Missouri and Auburn. High head from Evans. Inside, bring them. That's a great find and a great finish. Rebound to Kapanis. Surveying the floor, it's Marisa. Yes! Megan, she has been lights out from three her last three games. And transition threes are the toughest play to guard in basketball, and that's how you break the press if you're Michigan. Get the ball up the floor as fast as possible. Up by four in a place that has been nearly impossible to win this year. Penn State 11-1 in this building. Three to shoot for Owusu. Got it! Owusu, one of the smoothest jumpers, just like that. Completely dictating pace of play and bringing the Lady Lions within two. Chesky holds up two. Here's the sophomore. 
Chesky making a play. Chesky knifing through the defense. Oh, what a move. Inside, Felia with the steal. Michigan trying to build momentum. Evans ahead of the pack. Oh, what a pass and transition to Evans. Inside to Awusu, another turnover. And plenty of time, five seconds. This is Felia, sidestep, lead away. It's good. Layla Felia. That's just off. There's Evans again. And a reload for Michigan. One of the best offensive rebounding teams in the league. Hobbs and one player in the Big Ten this year. Jordan Hobbs finishing over Ashley Awusi, but she got up there. The team up every single game day. She does a good job. Awusu is down right now behind the play. Just lost the ball. Hobbs shovels it off. Over to Brett. And it's good again. Timeout, Penn State. Hanson harassed. Got it back. Into Evans, has the mismatch, and one. What a response by the Wolverines. She recognized the switch happened, got Evans down low in the paint and let her go to work with the size advantage. Chesky can fire from about anywhere. Kapanis will take it, and drill it. Wide open look for one of their best shooters. Now Felia in transition. Layla Felia got another foul in a miraculous roll. Hey, right away, they are going to try to force Caitlin Clark to put the ball on the floor going right. Get inside the three-point line. You can't let her have that space. Caitlin Clark, that's an omen. Lavender breaks the other way. Bounce back. And that one is pure. They say she is ready to go. She leads the team in points, rebounds, and assists. Back door. Mark can't hold on to the pass. Turk with numbers to the bucket. Up and in. Marshall. Here's Molly Davis. Pure Molly D. And here comes Sellers. Nice look inside. Great position. No call on the play. As Rihanna Alexander had her shit blocked. Reed McDaniel called for the foul, her first. First team foul against Maryland. Long jump shot, Clark, and knocks it down. With the Hawkeyes, this game can't be in the 90s. And you, you, good job right there by Faith Masonis, taking over the left hand, right? But you gotta get back in the play. That's way too much space for Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark had 35 on Wednesday against Northwestern, second all-time leading score in NCAA history. Nice little euro step. Six rebounds, five assists. She leads in points, rebounds, and assists. Clark from the logo. And knocks it down. Premier scores in the game, and Caitlin Clark was let to fly from three. And right here you see the control pace. Didn't have what they wanted in transition. Now going to try to force the Hawkeyes to guard the possession. And another jump shot going down. Pick and roll, Clark thinking about it, lets it fly, and runs it in. <laughs> Kaylin! She says, nope, I'm gonna create a little bit more space. Hand in my face, you wanna force me right? Okay, I'm gonna knock it down anyway. Kaylin Clark is the show. You gotta get back in transition defense. Floor balance is what they call it. And a turnover, Davis. With numbers, Davis penetrating, the teardrop is good. Shot, that little teardrop, I said, do you know where that came from? And a steal. Look at her going, Sydney a all the way to the rim, Molly Davis with the putback. Caitlin Clark, behind the back, on the spin, to the hole, and one. She's aware of that 50-point game, and right here, just staying on. Game clock at eight. Clark with the ball. Drops. Up. And good. And that's the end of the first half. O'Grady calling for it inside. 12 to shoot. Clark takes a quick release three. And buries it. That's 28. Her name is Lavender. Never heard of that movie until. But I heard of McDaniel, and Ray McDaniel is putting the biscuit in the basket right now. Boy, has she ever.
ever. She's been aggressive to the rim. She takes one contact.